Welcome to Icebreakers. I'm Alexis Downey. We're on to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And if it looks anything like the first round did, then we're in for some exciting matchups. It took five game sevens over the weekend to close out the first round. So let's take a look at how they all played out. After being eliminated twice in recent years by Boston, it was a sweet victory for Carolina as they won their seven game series on Saturday. Max Domi netted two goals in that victory and through the series defenseman Jacob Slavin led his team with eight points. The Canes will play the Rangers who clinched a game seven win in overtime at Madison Square Garden against the Penguins on Sunday night. This was a tough ending for Pittsburgh who was up three to one in the series. Now we'll wait and see what happens in the offseason as Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin will become free agents. The Canes and Rangers will begin Wednesday night in Raleigh. Just as I expected, the Tampa Bay Lightning and Toronto Maple Leaf series went seven games before Tampa was able to get the 2-1 to one victory on Saturday. Toronto's curse will continue as they still have not won a playoff series since 2004. Now Tampa will go on to play the Florida Panthers in what will be the Battle of Florida. Through the regular season, each team had two wins apiece in their meetings. I'm expecting this series to be high scoring and high tempo. Puck drops tonight in Sunrise. The Oilers took the LA Kings to seven games before they were able to get the win on Saturday in a shutout 2-0. Connor McDavid, by no surprise, led his team throughout the series with 14 points. Edmonton hadn't made it past the first round since 2017, so I'm happy to see that their talent will have a shot to continue running for the cup. The Oilers will face the Calgary Flames for the Battle of Alberta beginning Wednesday night, a series that I am very excited for as well. The Flames defeated the Stars in overtime 3-2 in the final Game 7 over the weekend with Johnny Gaudreau netting the winner. But despite the Calgary win, the real MVP was Stars goaltender Jake Ottinger, who had a franchise record 64 saves Sunday night. He really had a fantastic series for Dallas. And the final series of the second round will be the Colorado Avalanche taking on the St. Louis Blues. Now the Avs were the first team to advance as they swept the Nashville Predators and they've had a lot of rest as they haven't played a game in over a week now. While I do expect the Avs to continue to advance, I can see St. Louis putting up a fight. They knocked off a strong wild team to get to this point and had great production from veteran players. Plus, Jordan Bennington looked sharp in the final three games in net. Puck drops tonight in Colorado. Those were my icebreakers. I'm Alexis Downey. Tune in next week for continued coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs.